All right, today we are going to be discussing what is a flow network and we are going to be explaining it in very simple terms. So this is actually a computer science uh, topic, but one thing about this topic is it actually is a, a, a model that explains how networks are built, whether electrical network, uh, uh, sewage or, or some kind of, um, let's say, supply of water to a metropolitan area. How do you channel the, the, the flow through pipes or whatever so that you get maximum utilization of this pipe or networks? So that is what flow network is all about. So there is a principle or a theory behind uh, how networks are built, and that is uh, the flow network theory. And later we, we are going to talk about Ford forecasting algorithm that actually explains these theories very clearly. So I'm going to just explain it very clearly to you right from the start. So if you want to continue, you can now see further tutorials uh, in the in the in the list. But I just want to also remind you to subscribe. If you've not subscribed, just click on the subscribe button and let me know what topic you would like to learn, especially if you are studying some computer science courses in school. Uh, let me know so that I can make a lesson for you. All right, so we are going to cover what is a flow network, what is a flow, maximum flow problems. Uh, we are going to also cover what is a cut for, for, for the forecasting algorithm. Uh, that is not for forecasting, it's for the forecasting algorithm. So, and more on cuts, then we are going to talk about residual networks, and then we are going to talk about augmenting parts, max flow, mean cut theorem, actually. Would like to remove the well actually would like to correct this this is Ford forecasting all right so let's go to the first part what is a flow network a flow network is a directed graph written as GVE that have a source and a sink right so just know that it is modeled by a directed graph a graph is, of course, collection of nodes and uh, nodes and edges, or vertices and edges. B represents the list of nodes or vertices in the graph, and E stands for the list of edges in the graph. So this is uh, a function, a flow network G is a function of vertices, set of vertices and edges. Each UV have a capacity giving us C UV. So let's explain this. So it says each edge UV have a capacity giving us CUV. So when we say edge UV, it simply means edge pointing from edge U to pointing from node U to node V. So this, uh, this edge here is giving us UV, right? So we can just uh, make it a little clear. So this is U and this is V. So we have an edge joining U to V. And we are saying that it is a directed graph. When the graph is directed, it means that it has a direction, right? So each edge UV have a capacity giving us C U V. So it means that if we have a source of water, let's say a source of water here, right? And this water is going to be supplied to some recipients, let's say uh, whatever it is here. Okay, so, so we have this water flowing in here. So we have from here, from here, to here is an edge. Yeah, it represents an edge. So this pipe is a pipe have a capacity, which is represented as C. If this is U and this is V, then the capacity of this pipe, the amount of water this pipe can carry, is represented as C U V. So that is basically what it means. The amount of water so that tells you, of course, that if we have a bigger container that can carry a larger volume of water, then you have a bigger 
capacity. So let's go ahead to draw it and then see how it will be represented. So I'm going to draw a typical flow uh, network. So I will draw, start from here, get to here, and we have some nodes in between. So let's put some edges from here to here. We draw an edge from here to here. Draw from here to here. We draw from here to here. We draw from here to here. From here to here. And we give this to be the source. And this is the same T. We also have an edge coming from here to here. Um, so. And then we have an edge going from here to here and one edge going from here to here as well. So now let's call this A, B, C, D, right? So we have, let's say this is capacity of 5, this is 6. I'll leave it at this two because I'm going to clarify this uh, later on. So if this is a capacity of this edge SA, if I see SA equal to 5, right? So we also can have a flow, which will be equal to, let's say, 3. The flow is the amount of uh, units of uh, data or whatever that passes through the network. The capacity is the volume that it can carry. It can take, but the flow is the amount is currently taking. So I'm going to indicate it in the standard way. So normally it's written like 3.5. Sometimes some textbooks may write it uh, in this way 4.6. So the first number is the, the lesser number, in case if there is anyone that is less, is the flow, and C is the capacity, and 6 here. For this example, is the capacity. So that's just explaining what uh, a flow network is. And then we have this is the source, this is the sink, and this is the source. So we are going to continue in another tutorial. We are going to actually use uh, actual figures, real values here, and then we will do a little calculation in the next tutorial. I would like to thank you for viewing. Remember to Leave a comment to let me know if you observe something you like me to clarify.